Hey, this is Will from Will Arm. Today we're looking at six different guns. I'm going to start off with my daily carry today. And uh, we're going to work through six more. Uh, Big Johnson, uh, Guns and Gears. His channel had a... Um, he picked out his favorite six guns. And then uh, Keenan Gillum, he picked out six of his favorite guns. So I figure it's a community challenge by this point. So um, maybe we'll tag somebody here. Um, anyway, this is my para ordnance uh, LDA, and that stands for light double action. And for a quadriplegic, this really is a light trigger for a double action. So it's about uh, three pounds, but it actually pulls easier than that. It's just so smooth, and uh, it really feels good. Uh, so I, I really like carrying this. It's unbelievable that you can get 13 45s in the size of this so um, you can see it's smaller than a CZ uh, and the width is of the grip is narrower than a standard uh, 1911 um, 45 uh, single stack so pretty unbelievable what pair ordnance was able to do um, back then in the day uh, when 45 um, 1911s weren't so popular, they said, hey, we can do a double stack, and they did a double stack. Uh, double action only was, hey, we can do double action, and we can make it light. Uh, so anything they threw at para ordnance, para ordnance was there. They're true leaders, and it's too bad Remington bought them and earned them. Well, second gun. This is my Sphinx AT2000. Sphinx was made in Switzerland. It's a copy of the CZ75. Uh, this is the compact version. So the P stands for police. There's also a PS, which is also police special. Um, so this has the uh, 3.8 inch barrel. Uh, it's a great shooter. It's very accurate. It's uh, not so heavy, but heavy enough. Um, I really enjoy carrying it. It actually shoots better than my uh, CZ uh, compact shadow line. Um, it also does not have the uh, fire and pin block. Uh, it's always been just a great shooter and I highly recommend it if you can find one. They're hard to find. This is one of my first uh, collector guns that I ever bought and I really enjoy shooting this. I carry it a good bit. haven't carried it lately but I love carrying it when I do. This is a 1992 Browning High Power, and uh, it does have the Shield RMFC um, red dot uh, that was put on by uh, MK3 Firearms. It does have the um, trigger. This has the safety the cylinder and slide uh, kit, so you can see when you take it off safe, the hammer and pin pops right back, and when you put it back, it goes back on safe. Um, they also did an undercut, he did a, a light rail, he crowned the barrel at 11 degrees, uh, he beveled the magwell, um, it also has the um, other side uh, mag release, um, has both, both side uh, safety, it's just a great gun. It's very lightweight. Uh, fun, fun gun to shoot at the range. Uh, I would never carry this. The trigger is just a little too light to carry. So, uh, but it's a fun range toy. Uh, so. This is the Wilson Combat um, EDC X9S. So this is the smallest of them all. Uh, so this has been a great shooter. I really enjoy taking this to the range. And uh, it, this has the 15 round uh, magazine. I also have an 18 round. And when it's flush, it's the 10 round. So it's pretty unbelievable. The trigger that you get with this and the accuracy. And I uh, just love looking down those sights. It does have the fiber optic. Uh, this has been a great gun. I found it at a pawn shop. 
and I got a great deal on it. So I can't say anything more about this. I love carrying it, but I'm always paranoid about losing it uh, if, if something were to happen, and I'd hate to have it being in a police locker. So <laughs> I carry it gingerly when I'm in a very safe situation. Uh, anyway, love having this gun. It's, it's really meant a, a lot to me to have. It's kind of been one of my uh, goals, my grail guns, and I'm uh, glad to get it. Never expected to find it at a pawn shop at that price. This has seen a lot of videos. It's one of my more popular videos. Uh, this is the Bull Armory SAS-2 Viper. And so the Viper is different from the Ultralight because it has the comp and the red dot. This is the same red dot as you see on the Browning. It's the Shield RMSC. Um, and that's the compact and it's lightweight. It does have the plastic lens, but the aluminum housing, very robust. I've really banged up the browning one uh, during shipping. Um, FedEx completely smashed it. Um, MK3 Firearms fixed it for me. And I really had no issues with them. Um, more dependable than the Trijicon SRO had problems with it, but their warranty worked out. Um, this is a great shooter. I put it up face to face against the uh, CZ Shadow 2. Uh, the CZ Shadow 2 feels like it weighs twice as much, and they both shoot just as flat. Uh, pretty unbelievable that the way this comp works and the weight and balance of this gun is just incredible to shoot. I, I highly recommend anything from Bull. I do plan on getting something else from Bull this year, and, and I'm really excited about what they offer and the quality that you get in those prices. So... If, you, if you're thinking about Bull Armory and you're worried about an uh, Israeli company, remember, Israelis are <laughs> in a continual state of war and they got to make things that work and work well. Um, another thing about Bull is uh, the warranty on this. I went through the warranty process and uh, they, they really shined. They paid for shipping. They fixed it. They told me exactly what they did. And um, what all remedy was, they tuned all the magazines and, uh, you know, did a great job uh, in and out real quick. So, real happy with that. Um, and last and not least, the Shadow 2 didn't make it. It was dethroned by this and also with the Viper. The Viper showing me that um, a lighter gun could take the place of a heavy gun. And this is a, a cheaper gun, half the price of the Shadow 2, uh, but shoots equally as well. Uh, the Shadow 2, I've got 5,000 rounds through it. I did a, a trigger job, uh, polished all the internals, um, and put the single action only trigger. This came with a single action trigger. After 500 rounds, uh, the weight of the trigger dropped from 4.5 pounds to 3.5 pounds. Uh, I did a trigger job, polished everything up, and now it's about 2.2 uh, 2 pounds, uh, 12 ounces. So it's it's a really same feeling trigger, single action only as my Shadow 2. Um, the only complaint I had was the grips were a bit smooth, but these are lock grips, and it's much better than it used to be. So... That's my six guns. Real happy with my choice. Still should have had, I would have felt comfortable having uh, three more out here, but six is six. I'm glad Big, Big Johnson didn't go with uh, five. That would have been impossible to pull one of these out of the lineup. Um, anyway, this is Wilton Well Armed. Have a great day and be prepared.